Hi there everybody and welcome to this video. Today we will be talking about um, a function within Business Central called the Performance Profiler um, and um, just going to talk to you a little bit about what it does first before we uh, before we jump in. So um, the Performance Profiler is basically a tool within Business Central. It's I guess more geared towards sort of um, consultants and developers that use Business Central um, and what it will allow you to do is effectively uh, gauge performance, measure performance of different tasks that you are carrying out within the Business Central environment. Um, so you can effectively set this performance profiler running and uh, it will basically look at what you're doing in Business Central in the background. Um, and then it will give you a report which is based on the tasks which you carried out. The idea being the tasks that you're carrying out are running slow for some unknown reason. Um, now, why would a task be running slow? Well, there could be multiple reasons for this. You know, it could be the way that sort of it's, uh, it's structured to carry out particular activities. Um, maybe the way that the code has been structured. Um, there could be many reasons. And basically this um, this tool will help us identify why a particular process is running slow in, uh, in Business Central. Um, so let's jump into it. What I'm gonna do is search for a tool here called Performance Profiler. Um, so this brings up our Performance Profiler page. Um, and what I should say is you can search for Performance Profiler or you can go to the help, uh, you can go help and support and over here you can go into analyze performance. So um, there's a few different ways that you can get into there and um, when you use the analyze performance it pops out in, uh, in a new window. Uh, but essentially what I'm going to do now is just hit start uh, but very quickly uh, before I do um, it's just telling me here that we can use the tool to trouble, troubleshoot slow operations, sorry. Um, and it tells me to use the start and stop buttons to record a process that we think is slow. And the charts will show how much time each app is used in the buttons that I click in the processes that I follow within BC. Um, so let's go ahead now and press start. Um, and it tells me the performance profiler is now running you can record your business process. Um, so let's go away and jump back into my BC here. And what I'm gonna do is just raise a sales invoice. Now, do bear in mind, this probably isn't a great test for this particular tool. And that's just because I don't have any modifications installed on this particular environment. So it's generally speaking quite fast and I don't have any issues with it but you get the idea I mean if you have some sort of bespoke routines built into your invoice posting routine or indeed something else that you do on Business Central you could do um, the same thing that I'm doing apply the same principle and run tests on uh, on that. Um, so I've hopped in my invoice I'm just going to hit post and yes um, do you want to open the posted invoice I'm going to say no but now what I'm going to do is just go back to my performance profiler here and I'm going to stop my performance profiler. It's given me um, a chart which shows me the different apps that have been used through the invoice posting routine that I just carried out within um, my business central environment. Um, I can come up to the top here and I can aggregate by app name and app publisher as well. As I mentioned earlier on the call, guys, I don't have any bespoke applications installed on this environment. So it doesn't really make sense to be testing it in this way. But if you had a slow routine, which you thought might be caused by an app or an extension built by um, a developer on a particular project or, or, or environment, we can use this um, to test that. Um, I also have a show technical information boolean here which jumps into a lot more detail so I can come down. I've got a time spent by application by object and it literally gives me a breakdown of the different objects that were caused. So I've got code units, I've got tables, pages with some time in there and if I scroll further down still I've got a call tree which literally talks me through what objects were called and the order in which they were called there. 
Um, so some of the other things I can do here from this page is I can download a file. So if I want to send this off to um, one of my development team to uh, investigate, I can click download. Um, and it does tell me, it gives me a bit of a warning, says that the file might contain sensitive data. Um, so we need to be sure to handle it securely and so on. Um, but what this effectively gives me is a file. If I press yes here, it will give me a download, which I can then put into Visual Studio Code and just interrogate a little bit further. Um, and we can try and use that to get to the source of why the, uh, the system might be being slow in, uh, in particular areas. Um, and that's all that I wanted to show you on this, guys. I hope you found it useful. Um, thanks very much, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.